Hello everyone, I'm Eric Brooks with Alpine Electronics and today we're going to take an inside look at the new Halo truck enclosures from Alpine. These things sound incredible, so today I want to tell you why they sound so great. I want to tell you what comes in the box and how they actually fit in a vehicle. So let's check it out. Okay, so our Halo truck enclosures come in two versions, R2 and S-Series. So the R2 is called the R2 DB8V TRK, and the S-Series is called the SDB8V TRK, right? So they're the same enclosures, they're tuned properly for both uh, of the woofers. Uh, so you get the enclosures, you get the woofers, you get this beautiful uh, Alpine logoed front plate so you can see the branding on the enclosure when it's under your seat. It has these adjustable brackets, right? So this thing's adjustable from 40 inches out to 51 inches. So it fits a wide range of vehicles. And as you expand the enclosure, it becomes optional to add this amp rack so that you actually have an easy place to put your amp in your installation. So um, really cool system. We're gonna go ahead and put this together and we'll talk a little bit more about what makes it sound so great. So uh, here we go. So the, what I like to do is kind of get the woofers set up here side by side and um, there, there are two holes on each enclosure. And what we'll do first is take the, um, Take this bracket here, this is the front bracket, and we'll put that right on the front of the enclosure here. And then typically what I do is I just take the four screws and I uh, get them finger tight, right? So we have, we have them in place, but it's still adjustable. So we'll go ahead and do that with these four screws. Okay, now that that's all uh, loosely fit, we can go ahead and put on this back bracket, right? So this attaches to the back and bottom of the enclosure here for stability. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. So what we'll do first is come right around this way, grab our screws, and again, we're just gonna uh, loosely fit this bracket onto the enclosure here. So we just line that up, get a few threads in, Right there, it's so easy, you can do it without even seeing the holes. I'm doing, I can't even see anything and I'm doing it just fine here. So if I can do it, anybody can do it, right? So let's we'll go ahead and line that up. I feel it there. There we go. We got a few threads in. We'll go ahead and tighten these up just a hair using the supplied Allen key. So the Allen key comes in the box with it. So we're just gonna tighten these up just a hair so we can get to it easily. Right, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tighten it up all the way because we want to be able to expand it to make it fit in the vehicle properly. Right, so we'll just tighten these up. And as you tighten them, the enclosures will actually start to line up properly. Right, so. Okay, so now that we have these brackets started, we can go ahead and flip the enclosure down and put in the last two screws that go in the back of that L bracket, and then we can cinch everything together and tighten it all up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the screw on this side, All right? So there's one, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this one. So last screw here, and there you go. Now, so once this is done, uh, we can go ahead and adjust. We can try to figure out what the width is of our vehicle and we can adjust the box to fit in that area. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a second, I'm gonna measure out the width of the truck and then we'll know how wide we need to make this. So let's do that and then we'll get right back to it. Okay, so I took a second, I measured the vehicle and the enclosure is gonna work best at its full extended width of 51 inches, which is pretty much the case with all full-size vehicles. So 51 inches actually gives us the capability of using our amp rack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mount our amp rack next. So you'll see little uh, indentions uh, in the enclosure and these protrusions on the amp rack so everything lines up properly. And again, there's two screws on each side of the amp rack. So there's one that goes right here and we'll go ahead and line that up and get it, uh, it kind of started here. Just start it hand threaded here. 
So there's one screw and then there's another screw. And the nice thing about these is everything is a threaded insert in the wood, right? So it's easy to line up, it's easy to get started. So you wanna kind of start them by hand so you don't have to worry about stripping anything out. But once you get a few threads in there, it's nice and easy to tighten up. So that's another great feature of this is all these uh, threaded inserts uh, in the wood. So there's one side, there's that. Last one, two more screws and then we're all done. So this will go here, line this up. So after I get this in, I'll, t I'll tilt it up so I can show you the, uh, the area that we're talking about and working in here. Um, so there's one, and then here's the last one. There, so now we've got that. We're gonna go ahead and just tighten up these last two screws. All right, so now we're nice and tight. All right, so let's flip this up now. And it's all very rigid, it's all together nicely now. So you can kind of see here, here are the two screws and the two screws for this side. So that's the amp rack all together from the underside of the, uh, of the enclosure here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, trim panel. So this has our logo. We're gonna put this right on the front. There are these two extruded aluminum pieces here that are gonna sit in place here and here, and then there are two Allen screws on each of those. So we'll go ahead and screw these in, right? Nice and easy. I feel like Bob Ross. Anybody know who Bob Ross is? Pretty little trees, you know, our nice little screws, right? So there's a screw, there's a screw. All right, last one. And there we go. Okay, so now that we have this all tightened up, let me talk a little bit about the different applications that work really well for this enclosure. Now, this will fit in a wide range of vehicles, okay? So your imagination is really the limit. The thing that you wanna think about is if you have a full-size truck, right? Crew cab truck with uh, a relatively flat floor underneath, right? So some vehicles have this molded uh, metal, uh, uh, storage area under the seat. Unfortunately, these won't fit there, right? Because of that, that molded piece. But if you have a seat that has a storage tray that's removable, or you have a relatively flat floor, uh, so an F-150, a Silverado 1500, this newer Ram, uh, they have a flat floor in the back. So you can, or a small transmission hump. So you can actually use this in those vehicles very easily. And again, the adjustability of width makes it fit really nice in any of these applications. So like, for example, in the Silverado, uh, these center feet fit just outside the transmission hump, right? So it looks really cool. It goes the full width of the seat and it sounds awesome with how these ports load into the car. Now, another cool application that I've seen this in is the Jeep Gladiator, which is the Jeep truck, right? So the Jeep Gladiator has this uh, factory storage compartment under the rear seat. You remove that, and then this shrinks down to the smallest size, that 40 inches of width. So as you shrink this down, you would actually remove the amp rack. You wouldn't install the amp rack, and it would, the, the two enclosures would touch in the middle, okay? And what's cool about this and the way it's designed is the contour of the Jeep Gladiator under the seat. These enclosures actually fit into that contour really nicely. So that's a tidbit on the Jeep Gladiator. Really cool. We do a lot of stuff with Jeep, so you know it's nice to have an enclosure that gives you great base in that vehicle. So let's talk about the different uh, series of subwoofer enclosures and the amps that work well with them, right? So let's start with the S series. So the S DB8V TRK is a 600 watt power handling. It's a nominal impedance of two ohms. So when you, when you wire these together, there are two ohm impedance, which works perfectly with our SA60M. That's a 600 watt monoblock from the S series line. So it fits really nicely on this amp rack. So if you have it expanded out and you have the amp rack available, it fits really nice there. And it's perfectly power matched to that S series truck enclosure. Now, this particular subwoofer that we're installing is the R2DB8VTRK. So what we're going to use with this is an amplifier that's perfectly matched called the RA75M. So again, two ohm impedance, 
This is rated at two ohms, 750 watts of output, 750 watts of power handling, okay? So we're gonna take and we're gonna go ahead and mount this in our amp rack here, and then we'll show you how it looks in the vehicle. So let's do that. We've uh, already pre-drilled the, uh, the holes for the amp, so we're gonna go ahead and just line those up and then put our screws in, so. Screw number two. Screw number three. And screw number four. So now that the amp's on, we can go ahead and try this out in the vehicle, show you how it all works, and we'll talk a little bit more about why it sounds so great in the truck. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and slide our enclosure in. So it definitely helps to have a second set of hands here. Uh, you can do it yourself, but it's a little more cumbersome. So if you have someone that can help you lift it into place, that definitely will take a bit of uh, weight off your shoulders. So this is the final fitment, and it looks absolutely killer in this RAM, as it does in all the other applications that it fits in. Uh, this is the point when you would go ahead and uh, wire up your amplifier, make sure you get your power ground, remote, RCAs, all those connections done. You'll probably wanna take off this front plate one more time, just those four screws, this comes off, that way you have access to your gain controls and your crossovers and all that stuff for final tuning. Um, but just a couple more things I wanted to talk about with this, and those uh, those things are why it sounds so great in the vehicle. So these woofers actually load off the floor, right? So we get a great loading here, and the ports load off of the doors and the cabin when the doors are closed. So this thing really produces outstanding bass. The uh, ports themselves actually have a lot of engineering in them. So this is a 32 inch port that actually wraps around inside of the enclosure. It has uh, fluted ends, so it reduces port noise. So it's a very smooth, clean sound that it produces and it's tuned to 36 hertz. So it gets really deep low bass out of these. So all of this works together for a great sound, great output and very musical uh, tone produced by these enclosures with these woofers. So I think you'll see that this thing looks great and sounds great in your vehicle. Uh, you can see it here with the seat down, how, how nice the fit and finish is here. So that's our Halo truck enclosures. Thanks for taking the time to tune in and we'll talk to you soon.